The Krebs cycle is a part of cellular respiration that produces carbon dioxide and energy using glucose. Let's look at this process in a leaf. Here we see the structure of many plant cells. Now we see a single cell with its organelles. The space between the organelles is called the cytoplasm, and this is where glycolysis occurs. One six-carbon molecule of glucose enters the process. The glucose splits into two three-carbon molecules, releasing energy that is passed onto four energy carriers. The result is two pyruvates. Now let's look at a mitochondrion. Inside the matrix, one pyruvate makes energy by losing a carbon atom that becomes carbon dioxide. The two leftover carbon atoms bond with coenzyme A and form acetyl coenzyme A. Acetyl coenzyme A enters the Krebs cycle by joining with oxaloacetate. The two molecules rearrange and form citric acid. The citrate then rearranges into a molecule called isocitrate. The molecule loses a carbon atom that turns into carbon dioxide and makes energy while becoming alpha ketoglutarate. The molecule loses another carbon atom, makes energy, and bonds with coenzyme A to make succinyl coenzyme A. The molecule loses coenzyme A and makes energy while rearranging into succinate. The molecule rearranges again while making energy and becomes fumarate. After another rearrangement, the molecule becomes malate. More energy is created in another rearrangement, resulting in oxaloacetate. The oxaloacetate bonds with acetyl coenzyme A, causing the cycle to start all over again. Both carbon dioxide and energy continue to be produced.